you got to do whatever you can while you can right so one of the things that i've decided in 2023 is to hi folks i'm out of my morning walk i must say that the last vlog that i released the mixed emotions on a weekend vlog i was quite overwhelmed by the responses that i received to that vlog in terms of your many comments in your the many messages that i received on instagram speaking of situations that some of you had found yourselves in the pain the anguish of losing a loved one and i could feel the uh the difficulties the hardship the sorrow through those messages through all that i saw and uh, the only thing that you can actually convey is your strength your prayers and uh, your empathy that's all that you can do right because for somebody who is going through those things it's unimaginable to see how difficult life must have been for them i'm sure in situations like these everything seems very dark i think from the outside whatever you may however you may try to motivate a person or comfort a person i think everything must be seeming rather bleak as i was walking by one of the apartments i could hear somebody singing happily in their shower the sort of singing that you do with gay abandon when you know the world is not watching and uh, that sort of situation must seem so distant so far away for those going through pain the anguish of having to see someone close to them suffer so i'm not really trying to offer any solution i'm not really trying to offer any guidance or any advice because you really can't but i just think that it uh once again reinforces the fact that you got to do whatever you can while you can right of course i did pen replies to as many as i could and uh, i really wish you strength prayers and comfort although they may not mean much but i think what's important is to take care of oneself right i think that's the one thing that we don't do uh i think in the indian mindset we typically take care of everybody around us all our responsibilities etc but i think when it comes to ourselves that's the last thing that we look at that's the last thing that we uh take care of right i like to walk down this ramp and then walk up on each round we are also busy in our day to day work in our day to day lives that uh, to provide of course for our loved ones for people around us that we just don't pay enough attention to ourselves we set out for work in the morning and that's that so one of the things that i've decided in 2023 is to take care of myself on the physical level of course i do a lot of fasting which basically helps me balance out against the tastings the feastings that i do but i just felt that i wasn't getting enough physical exercise so in december i began this routine that i'm going to set for myself one hour each day every morning to just do things that will keep me physically active so every day i've been going for a walk followed by some you know exercises some free hand exercises etc and what i've also done is i've uh, my office i open my office only at 10:30 so even those that work with me the few people who work with me i want them to keep the morning to themselves get up early in the morning do some exercise spend some time with your loved ones your family because i think you know in the morning you're fresh in the morning you're bright and uh, when you you can do that at the end of the day too but then i think the day has already gotten so much out of you you've expended so much energy you see things very differently right when you have a fatigued mind when you have a fatigued body it's always nice to hear bird calls you got the sound of the traffic around you of course people honking the cars the vehicles there's some construction happening at a nearby site but then through all the calls of the bird 
penetrates the air. I don't know about you guys, but I like finding joy in some of these small things. And eventually, it's the small things that matter, it's the small things that add up really, don't they? I've seen a lot of change, been through a lot of pain. Some things are not the same as they were a year ago. But all will be okay, I move on each and every day. The past is where it stays, way back a year ago. Just finished my one hour. It feels so good in the morning when you make that effort to step out. So my morning usually begins early because I do my prayer, my meditation. But the one thing that I was really missing out was getting some physical activity on a consistent basis. Of course, I'm not the one who can sit in one place. I'm always walking around. Even when I'm on a phone, on a call, I'll be pacing up and down. And the work that I do requires me to be constantly on the move. But I think that one RO focused activity that you do, whether you're walking, jogging, some stretches, some freehand exercises, some dips, some exercises to stretch, strengthen your muscles, etc. I think it feels so good. You kind of, it releases all those endorphins and you just feel ready to face the day. What I believe also is the last time around in 2022, I made this effort to begin, but to be honest, it didn't really go too far. But this time around, I said, let me first begin. So I began around the end of December and now it's Jan and now we are on the last day of February. And I've still stuck to that uh, schedule of getting up early in the morning. So what also happens is that this gets hardwired into your body, right? So when you get up in the morning and after you've done whatever you needed to, your body is telling you, listen, you got to go out and get those steps. You got to go out and do those stretches. You got to get out and do those exercises. So that's a good thing that happens. Initially, it's tough, but then later on, your body takes over or actually your mind takes over and says, you know what, you got to give your body this and you automatically step out. So there's certain days where I'm busy and I'm doing stuff and I may not be able to do the entire one hour that I would like to ideally do, but even half an hour, I still make it that, I still make it a point to step out. So I don't lose touch with that entirely, right? Because at the end of the day, I may get 20 minutes in the morning, then maybe sometime during the day, I may find 10 minutes that I can just pace up and down wherever I may be. Even at a shoot, once I finish my shoot, I can do that. Or maybe while the shot is getting ready or something else for that matter. Right? But when you begin, even with the small steps, you know you will complete it because you have a goal in mind. You know, okay, fine, this is what I need to do today. This is what I need to accomplish. So even those small, tiny baby steps make a huge difference. Lovely breeze blowing here. So after I work out, usually I spend some time just relax here. Nice gentle breeze blowing. Some flowers, the plants, the vines creeping over the trellis here. So that's it for this daily vlog or a slice of life in a day vlog. I don't even know what I'm saying. I think it's all those endorphins. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this vlog. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. If you feel somebody else needs to also see this, feel free to share uh, this message too. And if you haven't subscribed yet, if you're new and haven't subscribed yet, or if you're old and haven't subscribed yet, please do subscribe because it really helps the channel. Have a good day. I'll see you on the next one. Bye. Walking up steps is good exercise too. When you can, use the stairs.